Australia has warned that Sydney's lockdown could be extended again as authorities struggle to stamp out a COVID-19 outbreak. The state of New South Wales has reported 44 new infections, its worst day of the outbreak this year. New South Wales is facing the biggest challenge we have faced since the pandemic started. And I don't say that lightly. I don't say that lightly. And unless there is a dramatic change, unless there's a dramatic turnaround in the numbers, I can't see how we'd be in a position to ease restrictions by next Friday. And that is why all of us need to work together. Sydney has been under a strict stay-at-home order for two weeks. The lockdown has already been extended once. Daniel Robertson joins us live now from Sydney for more on this. Danielle, more younger people seem to be getting infected in this outbreak now. Yeah, that's right. Nearly a quarter of all the hospitalisations in the latest Sydney outbreak are people who are aged 35 or under. It is a growing frustration with the younger population who say that they are bearing the brunt of this lockdown as well as now the number of cases and they are also at the bottom of the ladder for vaccinations. At the moment, anyone under the age of 40 can go to their GP and request the AstraZeneca vaccine, but it is the Pfizer vaccine that is re recommended here in Australia and that's only eligible to those over the age of 40. So that limits the uh, younger population to be able to get the vaccinations. It is a uh, causing a lot of help, um, feeling of helplessness within that age group. And unfortunately, we are seeing um, the younger population, e the number of COVID cases increasing in that younger population. And although the New South Wales Chief Health Minister said that this is now a wake-up call, unless the eligibility criteria can change, uh, young people are feeling quite helpless in this sense. Well, as you say, Danielle, younger people have been at the bottom of the ladder in terms of inoculations, but the government is stepping up vaccination efforts this weekend. Yeah, a new ad campaign is going to be rolled out this weekend to try and encourage people to get the vaccination. And the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, said that he's also accelerating the number of Pfizer doses that we are going to get in Australia. He said we are going to get 4.5 million doses by August instead of September, so that's accelerating it by one month. Uh, but the eligibility criteria isn't going to change at this stage. It's still going to only be for those over 40. Interestingly, though, Pfizer also released a statement saying that their uh, contractual obligation to Australia hasn't changed and they haven't increased their number of doses that they're giving to Australia. So that really does contradict this so-called game-changing vaccine rollout that the Prime Minister uh, was flouting this week. Uh, it is another controversy and bungle in this lacklustre vaccine rollout and really until jabs can get into people's arms, these restrictions and lockdowns are going to be the reality. And it is a tough reality. Danielle, thank you very much for that update. Danielle Robertson there from Sydney.